Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were figuring out that a bunch of NCR troopers were harassing locals, only to find out that was because NCR troopers had been fucked with by King, by the King, or at least that's what we allegedly think, um, when they tried to reach a hand out to help Freeside as well as their own people. But, uh, seems we're not entirely sure what's going on. Because that does not seem like the king's M.O. To throw away help that they could easily get. Especially if it'll help the people of Freeside. But, uh, the NCR seems to be a little up in the air. So, of course, they want to think that it's the NCR's fault fully first. But, uh, we'll find out in just a moment how that actually works. But, uh, We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Really? Only at Mick and Ralph. Well, I mean, that's always good. Um, who was I supposed to talk to? Because <laughs> for some reason it's not showing a little pip in that direction. Inform the king that the NCR previously sent an envoy to discuss distributing supplies to Freeside. Um, around, okay. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. That was immediately after I got out of the menu. That was weird. Anyway, it's not showing a pip in the direction of the king, but I'll probably need to talk to him to follow up on that little line of questioning anyway, so we'll just head over here. Oh, now it's showing it. wasn't showing it earlier. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, this game can be goofy sometimes. Alrighty. What do we got? Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. Uh-huh. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? What's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, yeah, this should do it. That's a good start. Fine, here's some more. But you better keep your mouth shut. I'm out of here. Got some important business to take care of. Do ya? <laughs> well, I mean, I managed to extort him out of money. But yeah, I'm gonna tell the king anyway. <laughs> Personal space mean anything to you guys? I wasn't even that close to you, buddy. Alright, anyway. Just gonna talk to him real quick, let him know. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Yeah, and I found out something about your guy. It sounds like uh, he's uh, trying to cover up something. Uh, the NTR is distributing supplies in the building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing out the supplies to NTR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? What the hell what? 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 That? This guy just suddenly pop up. King, we've got problems. Oh, Lay it on me. What's going on? Okay. There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Fair enough. All right, I, I will do that. I assume that's the business Pacer was talking about. They were probably trying to... Crying out loud. What the hell is Pacer doing? For fuck's sake. All right, uh by the old train station, so I'd have to go this way. Oh, boy. Alright, well, seems that, uh, Pacer did not like the NCR from the way it sounded earlier when he was trying to make me cover it up for him. He was, uh, not trusting of them when they came in and, of course, apparently decided to beat the envoy that the NCR sent to try and be nice to them and started this whole thing himself possibly and now he's trying to take care of business why he thinks he's able to is beyond me 
considering how everything else is going. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> a dead king. Well, I mean, that's definitely a way to saying it. What the hell is this guy thinking? Uh, jailhouse rocker, huh? Oh, this guy's dead too. Facer. Why the hell are you here? Got this under control? Do you? Because you have two dead kings right next to you. And you are crouching and crying like a baby. I'm really sure you don't have it covered. Okay. Where is the uh, group shooting at him? It's hard to tell. Oh, it's these guys over here. Draw weapon and you will fire. Okay. Fair enough. I can't talk to you. I guess I need to talk to you people. Uh, oh, this is an... That's an NCR trooper dressed like that? Alright, I guess. Um, someone's not happy. Oh, I can talk to this. Oh, Morning. Elizabeth! This isn't really a good time. What did you want? I wanted to talk to you. The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if All the right. king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Alrighty. That's good at least. Managed to get this whole situation diffused. This could have been bad and quickly. Yeesh. Alright, Pacer. Fucking idiot. What were you thinking? Oh, jeez. There's more of them. Why was this guy out here? Why the hell was this guy out here thinking he could take on... Dear gods. These... These people are idiots. Good gods. What were they thinking actually harassing a military outfit? Yeah, they're small, but they could still outgun you two to one. What the hell? Pacer, you fucking idiot. You're, you're, now you're stuck here. Look who here. it is. Freeside's leading lady. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Uh-huh. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Whoa, that's an extreme close-up of your face. Well, I mean, to be fair, you fucked up. So, I just fixed your fuck up, buddy. You're lucky I don't put a bullet in you for that sort of insubordination, asshole. Alright, um, now that we got all that taken care of, um, uh, there was something I was going to look into. Uh, return to the king and let him know the situation with the NCR has been diffused. Uh, that little pip about the squatter camp is still there. I don't want to look into that because mainly I don't need to now. But, yeah, get over here, talk to the king, and then we'll see what we get out of it. Pacer is probably going to get a, uh, beaten, <laughs> probably, if not yelled at profusely, and well-deserved, too. Well-deserved yelling at. There we go. Let's go through and talk to the king, who's probably in his little spot over there. There we go. The big showdown between the NCR and the Legion is coming soon. Believe you me. You told me that earlier. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, talk to him. Hey, the king. What are you doing? I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. Exactly. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Alrighty. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Fair enough. One favor from the king. That is... That is nice. That is nice to have in the back pocket there. Alright. Get the big old popper. <laughs> Alright. Oh. You just standing here now? That That's just what you do? Okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what's going to happen. Pacer... Hey, buddy. You idiot. Fucking stupid. What were you thinking? Going to the ramp. I've got my. Where else? Okay. Alrighty. Hey. Things have been a lot better since weird. you helped with those soldier boys. Uh huh. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, I mean, I try. That's all I do. Alright, this building is interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell, it's some sort of religious institution. <laughs> oh, I know it says school out front. 
But everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. Yep. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is a uh, impersonation school for uh, <laughs> Presley impersonators. If this was a school, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. All right. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Uh, is that what you guys do? Pretend to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Mm -hmm. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. Oh, that sucks. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. <laughs> tell me more about him. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. Hmm. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. Fair enough. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. Yeah, and that's where he got the name from. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. Fair enough. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. That's always good. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Uh, where'd you get the robot dog? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. Uh -huh. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Really? Is there something wrong with him? He doesn't seem very happy. He goes through spells like this from time to time. The followers said his brain is going bad or something. Uh, uh, can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Maybe get a second Your favor? best bet would be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Well, hopefully. Uh, can I join the kings? <laughs> Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. Uh-huh. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Fair enough. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. Oh. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. After what I already did but If you're yet? fixing to join something fierce, stick around. If you play your cards right, things might change. Fair enough. So why isn't every man in Freeside in the game? We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. Fair enough. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. Yeah. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others. And that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Fair enough. Other questions? Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Uh, uh, the favor. I want to look in on... I want to look in on what I can get out of that favor before I do anything with it. Because I don't right remember what I can do. And I don't want to accidentally throw that chance away by choosing it and then choosing nothing. So, I'll just right. leave for now. I'll see you later. Alright, sounds good. Let's uh, go talk to uh, Julie Farkas about uh, Rexy Boy. There we go. This is a very typical dog name, don't you think? Rex? Uh... Not to throw shade at Chilled Chaos or anything, but <laughs> Rexar is pretty original. I'll give him that much, but. All right, I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> if it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ron. All righty. Again, we've gone through that advertisement how many times now? A million. A million and a half. More than I care to admit. All right, let's go talk to Julie. Where the hell is she at? Probably in this little foyer area. Foyer. It's basically the entirety of the fort. It's really only had those uh, little buildings there. They're really not much better than shacks. Where's Julie at? There she is. Hey, Julie. Welcome. Hey. Uh, the king said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Aw. Uh, the king brought him here for treatment? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. Oh, You can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Really? 
So there's no chance he'll ever get better? I didn't say that. Oh. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. Really? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. Oh. He'd probably be your best bet. Dr. Last Henry. I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Jacobstown, all right. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. All right. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I really had to talk to her about, so thank you. Silence again. All righty. <laughs> that's typically what she does. That, that seems to be par for the course. All righty. Onward we go. Maybe I need to talk to king again i'm pretty sure i do but at first i do need to do a trip to the uh sink to drop off some stuff i have a lot of ammo that i still have not gotten rid of yet i should go to items and then i can do the big mountain transportal ponder that is a long ass name transportal ponder really really this prevents <laughs> really god damn it yeah, that's dumb that's yeah, really dumb all right well let's go outside then i guess what the fuck this is the biggest open area <laughs> are you kidding me uh, i guess it's too many loading screens i don't know all right is bad enough the last thing we need around here is even tougher NCR Ranger thugs. Ah, calm down. They're not that bad. <laughs> what the hell is this kid doing? Kid running around with this. What the hell are you doing? Reach for the sky, mister. Oh. <laughs> you look tired. Maybe you should take a break. I don't really like to go to bed until it gets dark out. Alrighty. I don't need to buy that gun from you. I'll let you run around with that. Oh, hey! Another person. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Absolutely. The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Fair enough. Hey, more stim packs. Thank you. You didn't need to. Alrighty. Should probably get out of here. There we go. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably check into the bunker. See if there's been anything dropped off. Probably hasn't been, not yet. Whoa! The fuck? What's with this little clusterfuck? <laughs> this is like three different... This is three different fucking caravan people. <laughs> oh, boy. That is ridiculous. All right. Onward to the sink. I'll head to the uh, abandoned BOS bunker right after. Huh. <sighs> And drink my soda real quick. There we are. Okay. Uh, I could probably sell a couple things to you Will at this point. staying for any considerable length of time during Sir's visit? Not particularly. Uh, buy some things. I should probably repair my stuff first. And looks like the caps counter reset for it, so that's good at least. Um, pair that up. Pair this up. Anything else needs repair? That's essential. Not really. Okay. Now we'll be staying everything for bought up. Should, should not take too long. I really know what I'm looking for. There we go. I uh, don't need that. I'll take these though. Take. Uh, Wow, that's a lot of revolvers. Uh, don't really need that that much, though. Uh, this I'll take. This I'll take. These I'll take. For sure. Uh, there's 12-gauge rounds. I'll take those. I'll take these, for sure. Um, take these, just so I can break them down. Um, that's really about it. That's really all I really need. Uh, wow. <laughs> I forgot I had dropped some of my gold bars here. Um, I don't really manage to be able to get rid of two of them, because, wow. Alright, um, wow, I have a lot of stuff I can get here. Uh, primer and powder pack, might as well get all of that. It's never too late to have a lot of those. 
Um, get some right away too. Fuck it. Why not? You have enough. You have enough ability to get all of that. Wonder glue wrench. Um, that's good enough. Yeah, let's get some turpentine. I'll get some of the rest of the stuff later. <laughs> okay, let's sell this. Um, sell these. Sell that. Um, I could. I could sell that elsewhere, but sure, let's just sell it here for now. Uh, these frag grenades I do not need. Sell this. Um, yeah, this will work. Um, everything else is good. Um, yeah, I don't need to sell any of these, really. I need to drop some of them. That's about it. All right, I think that's it. We're good. Good. All right. And uh, deal with some of the... Oh, now we can do Cass's Moonshine. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, that's cool. I'll have to do that when I actually have Cass with me so that she can approve. <laughs> Alright, um... Gecko Kebab. Eh? That, that actually gives me more food and gives me water to boot. Hell yeah! Banana Yucca Fruit, that's all I really need. And jalapeno peppers. Hells to the yeah. It's better than gecko steak on its own. And gives me way more health. Look at that. Three, plus three for 40 seconds, and this is plus six for 15 seconds. Wow. That is amazing. That is fucking awesome. Alright, um, tanned fire gecko hide. Uh, I needed that for a leather thing, didn't I? Uh, yeah, for the leather-backed, uh, or gecko-backed leather armor. Uh, I needed one of those, needed one of those, and one of those. And I needed the leather armor reinforced. I don't remember how much it takes and what kind of damage resistance it has. But I'll, I'll, I'll look into getting that and see how it compares to my uh, current armor set. Because this one gives a lot of resistance points to radiation, poison, and fire. So I might as well look into it, at the very least. But, uh, yeah. That is something I can do now. Which reminds me, I should probably actually tan this thing. There we go. I didn't want to make two. Fuck. I fucked up. <laughs> well, I can sell one of them, anyway. Um... Uh, I might as well make some ghost sight. Fuck it. That never hurts to have. And can pick up all of these. Alright. Couldn't well. stay away, could you? Yeah, I knew you'd be back. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. I, I don't know why I went Bill Clinton there for a second, but alright. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because I'm a little over time and really all I'm going to be doing is grabbing stuff and making stuff. So, yeah, I might as well just end the episode here for right now if I can pick shit up. There we go. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to uh, want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video and me screwing up on my own fucking outro. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and actually getting good stuff for Freeside and the NCR in the process, while also forwarding myself, <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better phrase, for you.